Good day. This is Dr. John Dombrowski. I'm here at the Washington Pain Center. Wanted to talk to you today about radio frequency ablation. Radio frequency ablation is used either for the neck or the low back or mid back perhaps for patients with chronic pain. Usually these patients have undergone facet injections with good results, but unfortunately these results are relatively short lived. So instead of keep coming back for injection therapy, which runs up the cost and not very good medical care, what you can do is see a provider to give an injection or actually a procedure called radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation has been around since the 1970s. It's simply a needle that is placed in the trough here, right where the nerve that innervates the, the joints of the cer cervical neck or low back spine. And it's simply where a joint is, it's where a bone meets the bone and where they grind upon each other that can cause a lot of localized neck and or back pain. The needles are then uh, are placed after you, the patient would come in. The area is cleaned with alcohol. We obviously use local anesthesia for the uh, subcutaneous and then deeper tissue. We then place the needles not straight down but to sort of lie the needle down in the trough like this. The needles are then warmed at 80 degrees centigrade for 90 seconds. The needles are then removed and the patient goes home. This is usually done uh, in an office setting, usually without anesthesia, which is great for the patient. Obviously, it's a little bit different than the traditional lumbar or cervical facet injections in that the benefit is not immediate. Usually after you've uh, been seen by someone like myself, we do the injections that are simple like the cervical facet or lumbar facet injections. The patient feels immediately better due to the local anesthesia. But then, unfortunately, the results can go away fairly quickly. With the radio frequency ablation, it's the exact opposite. You don't feel better immediately, but after a week or two, the benefits start to be had for a greater uh, period of time. Usually the benefits um, are, are such that they can last four to six, perhaps even eight months. Initially, the relief is not like it was with the simple injections. It usually takes one to two weeks to have any real noticeable effects, but when they do occur, it fairly plateaus and stays fairly consistent for, again, four, six, perhaps even 12 months. Now, these nerves are like hair. They do grow back, but they grow back slowly. But this way, you can ensure the patient will be comfortable for at least that period of time, not needing or requiring further injections and especially medication management. Thanks for watching.